Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be decluttering and organizing my entire closet. And to be honest, I'm not feeling super motivated to do this. I keep telling myself that I don't have that much to get rid of in my closet and because I have decluttered it like a million times in the last year, but I'm still going to pull everything out. I'm gonna look at everything and there'll probably still be a few things that I can declutter, but even so, it just needs a full organization. I just feel like it's gotten so messy. My husband and I share a closet and we really don't have a ton of clothes, but it has just gotten, I'm like looking at it over the camera but it has gotten so messy also um that might look like a fluffy little pillow but it's actually my dog and i totally just made the bed around him with him laying right there but yeah if you're feeling like decluttering and organizing your closet is a huge task that you're not really excited to take on um, I hope that this video will inspire you and i'm hoping that as i get started on this i'll be more excited about it because i'm honestly kind of dreading it okay so this is our closet it is just so messy I honestly don't even know why like everything is just like things are kind of folded but then they just got like all messy and this closet doesn't have doors it didn't have doors when we moved in so we just have these curtains on it that kind of hide it but it just needs a little bit of organization and love and this really is all of our clothes this section right here is my husband's and then that's mine that's mine and then we share the shelves so I really don't feel like we have a ton of clothes. We could definitely have less, but we honestly wear all of the clothes that we have and we like all of our clothes. And then right here, this is a whole basket of clean laundry. This has been sitting here since I think a day or two before Christmas and it is currently January 4th. So that's embarrassing. I think that's honestly probably a record for how long I have waited to fold a load of laundry or like th two loads of laundry. Okay, so I'm gonna start by taking everything off all of the shelves. I always start decluttering by taking everything out, like every single piece of clothing will probably go on my bed, and then we'll go from there. So I always start a decluttering process by taking every single item out of the closet and every single item out of every drawer and I just find that that works the best for me so then I'm really able to see everything I have and clean out the space and then put everything back nicely. And then I always vacuum out the drawers or even vacuum off the shelves, wipe down shelves before I put things back. So I'm actually talking to one of my friends on the phone the entire time I was doing this. So it, so if it seems like I'm obsessively carrying my phone around everywhere I go, that's why, because I was talking to her. But I realized that it seems kind of silly that I took everything off of the hangers just to put it back on. But a lot of stuff was inside out or things just weren't hung up on the hangers the same direction. So I don't know, this is just how I like to do it. It's probably more work, but it's worth it.
And then again here you can just see that I'm wiping down the shelf before I put everything back. And this shelf was much dirtier just because there were shoes and because I just like don't see it so it doesn't really get cleaned as often. So I'm just wiping it down and then I'll put everything back on the shelves. Okay, and then I took all of my husband's clothes out and I'm just refolding them. I am not decluttering his clothes. I don't really think that you should declutter your spouse's clothing. I think that they should do that themselves. But I did just want to refold all of his t-shirts and all of his pants just so that everything looks tidier. Okay, so here's the after of our closet. Um, I honestly hardly got rid of anything. I'll show you guys what I got rid of in a second. But these are my clothes. Um, like I said, this side and then the bottom side here are mine. Um, and then this this is basically the clothes that I wear like all the time. These are my favorite like sweaters. And then my dresses, which aren't very long, but they're too long for the other side. And then over here, are so dark but there's like a couple extra vests and then I have um, like my robe that I wore the day of my wedding is hanging up there and then these are some extra like sweaters and stuff that I wear more for hiking and stuff that I don't do like every day um, as well as just some other t-shirts that are like more casual I so wish that I could like beautifully color coordinate my closet but I don't have enough clothes to like make it look that pretty and I don't own like all one color clothing like some people do <laughs> so yeah and then these are my husband's shirts that he has hanging up I didn't touch his stuff really I just refolded um, like his t-shirts and stuff but I did not declutter his clothes obviously I wouldn't like get rid of his stuff but that's his stuff and then this is like all of my t-shirts and tank tops and then these are all his shirts and then these are all of my pants and then his pants and then my sweaters and it looks so much tidier now and then up top I just have like a little bit of jewelry that's my jewelry and then a stack of scarves um, and then like my slippers and then all of our extra shoes are up there okay and up here there's a roll of paper towel and we really do not use paper towel except I keep like an emergency roll there because every once in a while my dog will like randomly throw up in the middle of the night he hasn't done that in months and months and months, but when he was a puppy, like, I, I don't know, every once in a while he would just, like, eat some grass or just something that upset his stomach and then, like, randomly throw up. And it didn't happen, like, all the time. Like, we weren't concerned. I'm not, like, looking for pet advice. But just letting you know that that's why there is a random roll of paper towel. And then over here I have this dresser and the top drawer is just, like, socks and underwear. <laughs> Um, and then the second drawer is Quindon's sock and underwear drawer, which I didn't touch. It's still really messy. He also owns like 82 zillion pairs of socks, and I don't really understand. Um, and then the bottom drawer is all of my workout clothes, pajamas, my paint clothes, bathing suits, and that's basically it. And that's like all of my clothes. And then right here I just have this, these Christmas pajamas that need to go downstairs into Christmas storage. And then, and then this bag of clothing is not very exciting. The main thing in here, I have a couple like t-shirts in here that I just don't really wear. And then I have this like Sherpa sweater that I was so excited about when I bought it last year. And the quality just really hasn't held up. It's not that soft anymore so I'm going to donate it and maybe someone else will appreciate it. And then this is just my husband's work clothes which I never touch his work clothes. He has to wash them himself because um, if anyone else is a military spouse, you might understand this, but his, like, combat clothes have, like, so many pockets in them, and then he has pens and, like, chapsticks and notebooks in all of his pockets, and I'm terrified that I'm going to forget a pen or something and then, like, ruin those, so he washes those himself. I'm not even touching them. That is my decluttered and organized closet and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you love decluttering videos, be sure to follow along as I plan on doing several more decluttering videos in the next few weeks. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in a few days. Bye.